Welcome back to Ketalicious Nest. Today we're going to be doing a surf and turf while right? we do a no edit challenge. <laughs> it's about to mess up already. So let's say our grace and get it to this mukbang. Thank you, Lord, for this meal that I have prepared. Thank you for everything you're doing in my life and bringing in my life. Hey, y'all. So we y'all see we got some goodness here. And from the title, I'm doing the no edit challenge, which is by Simply Food by ty and i watched him and lips today doing this challenge and i love it because people need to see what we go through as mukbangers it's not just sitting down and eating but we're gonna get into this y'all so i got some um cucumbers here i got some italian um romano that i uh, dressing that i get at whole foods y'all it's the bomb some ranch back here with some um buffalo ranch um and there as well as a seasoning with my cucumbers i got a bone and ribeye steak here with some shrimp on top i found some stuff at uh fresh time it i bought them thinking they were little crab legs but come to find out it's not it's like pollock so it's kind of like i think a more expensive imitation crab leg but i got a little bit of that meat on there and my daughter i saw her post that she made this i'm going to call it uh, a chicken lasagna um, with um, a set of noodles she used broccoli and so I told her to bring me some picked it up from her job and here we go <laughs> surf and turf and I found these at fresh time and they're called cucumber melon and I had one earlier today at work and they're very good and I got me some water some steak sauce and we're about to try this so I cooked this steak. I want to bite into this steak first, y'all. I hope I didn't overcook it and my thing is going to move, y'all. I just got to make sure it don't fall off this table. Because that would be a disaster on this no edit. So I usually like my steak well done um, or medium to well, well. I think that's how you say it right before well done. So, I think it's a little well, but it's good, though. I was scared that it was going to be <laughs> bloody. <laughs> mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Cook just right, y'all. Mm. And I, I really don't typically um, like to cook big, um, big um, steaks, thick steaks, but I beat that one, y'all. It's a thirteen dollar steak that I got at um, Fresh Time. Mhm. Mm oh, that's good, Dash. Thank you, babe. Oh, that's good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sorry, y'all, my cutting board moving. This is good. So if y'all haven't heard about the um, no edit challenge, which I'm sure pretty much everybody has, <laughs> um, I think it's a good thing. I typically... I only cut my front and my back off because I'm usually messing up my title. Because <laughs> y'all know I can't talk. My words be flipping all over the place. Y'all know y'all didn't call it. <laughs> so, that's usually all I edit is my front and my ending. It's very rare that I have something in between that I edit. And it's not because I don't mess up. I just give y'all my me raw and uncut. <laughs> and I ain't got time to be doing all that editing. <laughs> oh goodness, I'm barely getting these videos out for y'all. So we got some cucumbers. Y'all. This um dressing I get.
and Whole Foods is better than Olive Garden to me. And it's actually healthier than Olive Garden's because Olive Garden's has high fructose in it. Which is a ketosis killer. <laughs> I'm gonna take you right on out of there. So we try to stay away from high fructose. And y'all should too, because it ain't good for you. But we eat a lot of stuff that ain't good for y'all, for us. So I can't preach. Just make you aware. I'm sorry, my lighting. It's probably a little darker because my lamps, I usually have my shades off. But I ain't feel like doing that today. <laughs> I didn't. I ain't feel like taking the shades off, take the bulb out. Mm. And as I was setting up, As I was setting up, I was looking at that light and like, it ain't right. It ain't as bright as I would like it to be. I'm gonna maybe get another thumbnail. There we go. Y'all be forgetting thumbnails all the time. I have to create one, take the shot out of my video. Now, why I like this challenge? It's because I let people that's nine YouTubers see the process that we go through. We're not just sitting up here eating this delicious food. I wish it was just that. One day, hopefully, <laughs> I can have me a chef behind me and making me some keto delicious food. <laughs> and all I got to do is sit here and look pretty. <laughs> mm -hmm. In a perfect world, we all would like that. But that's not how it is. And knowing me with my OCD, I still would be up doing stuff, so it don't matter. <laughs> but we have to plan and think about what we're going to eat first off. How we're going to pay for it. <laughs> Second off. Going to the store, getting it together. If you don't know how to cook it, learn how to cook it. Because I haven't made a thick steak like this in a minute. So I went on YouTube and watched a couple tutorials. And voila, here y'all go. I didn't, I wasn't able to get a, a screenshot of the top over here. Because I use my phone to record. But I did take one. Of the steak when it came out. So I know this is a no edit. I'll put it at the end. <laughs> so I also. At the end. Put some of me. Because I don't want this to be too long. So I know I heard T.Y. Sam to show the whole process when you start setting up. So I did that. But I'm going to see how it goes. It was like eight, min eight minutes before I started. And I don't want this to be too long. 
So, T.Y., hopefully it's okay to just cut some of that part and put that at the end. But I will show y'all the majority of it. But, I mean, you will see I won't have any edits. Ooh, shoot. That fat meat. <laughs> y'all see I won't have any edits through this. And that's what I told y'all before. I love Jaleel Odom because my first video. Mm, 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 mm. 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 That fat meat. Mm. Mm. I'm going to keep this PG. <laughs> but I'll talk about it in keto at the dog. Y'all catch me live. <laughs> and I'm going to tell y'all what I thought about that piece of steak. Mm, mm, mm. That fat meat. Oh, goodness. But what was I saying, y'all? Oh, Jaleel. But that's one something that he put under my video. He said, I love that you didn't um, edit I just saw the end and the beginning and stay true to yourself. And that's what people want to see. Unedited, uncut, they want to see you. And I've just followed that this whole whole journey on YouTube. Oh, excuse me, which I started at the end of February. Mm. 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 Yeah. Mm. I almost messed up my beautiful top. So, thank you, Jaleel, for that. But, yeah, y'all, we go through a lot. We do. And with me, I have to have a clean house around me before I take. And y'all probably hear my TV. Let me turn that down. I have to have a clean house around me as I do my videos. I cannot have a dirty kitchen or a junky kitchen. I have tape when it got a little clutter. What you got a little something back there. Y'all might be able to see a little something on the counter or something. I don't know. <laughs> That's good. It tastes really fresh, y'all. Cucumber melon. But yeah, I have to have a clean house around me. My living room has to be clean. I got OCD anyway. My house is usually clean. <laughs> but my kids don't keep it clean like I like it clean. So, you know, I have to come in and tidy up everything before I tape. So I have to do that. And sometimes if I do put on a little Mary Kay for y'all, I got to do my, my skincare. I got to beat my face a little bit. And that's a beat. Y'all know it's like a natural beat. <laughs> So I have to do that, figure out what top I'm going to put on. So in this, you're going to see I got some total different bottoms on, and sometimes I don't even have on bottoms. So, <laughs> yeah. So do all of that in the midst of you cooking. And what I usually do is I usually prep everything, like especially like this. I did all of this first because this wasn't going to take long. My daughter had already cooked that, so all I did was throw that back in the oven. Y'all know the shrimp only takes a little bit of time. The steak, I seared it on both sides for about um, like five to about seven minutes each till they got a golden crispy brown. Y'all going to see it at the end. Nice. And then I threw it in the oven on 350 for <clears throat> 10 minutes. If you like it a little bit more pink, take it out in five, six, seven. But don't touch it. Don't cut it. Don't do nothing to it. Sit it down and let it rest. This bad boy good right here. Mm-hmm. Them little red things y'all see is just some sun-dried tomatoes I picked up. But 
but yeah. So yeah, um, if it's a meal, it takes longer. I get dressed while I'm cooking it. So I'm running back and forth, getting everything together. Then you got to set it up. Make sure you got proper plating. You got everything together like you want it. Y'all, ooh, ooh. Y'all want shrimp? And it got some brown gravy on it. I made a little gravy. Mmm. In the same pan that I took the steak out of. I didn't season it or nothing. Just got all them drippings up. Threw some heavy whipping cream in there. And my cousin, Deanna, hit me on to putting a little brown sugar in there. I put a little swerve, which is a keto approved brown sugar. Put a little bit of that in there. And voila, when I tell y'all, <laughs> the bomb. So thank you, cuz. <laughs> I love when people give me tips. Mm -hmm. It's a little off subject, y'all. But I want to cut my hair off. <clears throat> but I'm so scared, y'all. I've never had short hair before, but I'm just tired of hair. I'm probably going to go on and get some braids soon. Because I ain't ready for that. But y'all let me know what y'all think. And I'm being so rude. Welcome to all my new subscribers. <laughs> Welcome to all of y'all. Welcome to everybody that always comes and watch me, my ride or dies. I love y'all. Y'all, y'all rock with your girl so strong. So I appreciate y'all. All the new connections that I'm making with people. I'm loving it. So kudos to y'all for making me feel loved <laughs> not that i don't anyway but y'all make me feel even more important so i appreciate that i do but yeah y'all so but i learned a lot from ty and uh lips today from they channel watching their um watching their uh, videos, and I'll link them down in my description, but I haven't really read the YouTube guideline, which I need to do that, and I will. I know some things from just hearing things, but have I read it for myself? No. So I need to do that. But YouTube has a lot of rules, y'all. So when people come up here, it ain't just sitting up here. <clears throat> and of course, everybody would love to get monetized. I didn't think really about getting paid because I didn't think I was going to go this far, y'all. For real, for real. <laughs> But the truth is, I love it. I love talking to y'all. I love showing y'all keto meals. This is all keto friendly. And letting y'all see you can eat good on keto. You still struggle and battle with um, staying away from them starches and carbs. And I tell y'all my struggles. Now I'm trying to struggle to get in the gym. But I can never stand on top of it. What was I talking about? <laughs> but this is a lot of work. I learned a lot from them. But now that I'm close to monetization, which last time I checked, I'm like almost probably like at 450. Well, I'm there, y'all. I'm getting there. Now I know I really need to read those guidelines and take 
this serious as far as the growth of my channel. I see people were rocking so hard. They doing green screens. And I wanted to try that. But y'all, it just seemed like a lot of work. <laughs> so, if y'all want to see a green screen, let me know. But if y'all just like my kitchen and my candles, that's cool with me. <laughs> I don't need no more extra work. I got a lot going on in my life, y'all. A lot. So, besides my kids and working, just everything, trying to keep everything together. And let me know, do y'all like me posting in the morning or at night? Because actually, I've been looking at my numbers, and not even more of my analytics, but just my views and everything. And it seemed like I was getting more views when I was posting at night than I am now. But I need to learn how to learn how to, excuse me, look at, I was listening to Lip saying, talking about how he looked at his analytics and looked at his views and they call it the algorithm. I believe, you see, I had to say that slow because I can't edit because I will mess that up. <laughs> I, I will mess a word up and I damn sure don't know how to spell it. <laughs> But, yeah, so I got to learn how to do that so I can really see what is going on behind the scenes with my videos. But, see, now that I'm getting close to, you know, maybe being able to be monetized, well, I will be because I don't see why YouTube wouldn't. You know, I done did everything you asked me to do. <laughs> but that's that little crab meat, y'all. That's cool. But, um... I need to start, you know, looking into this so that I can understand why I'm getting paid, whatever I'm getting paid, no matter if it's little, little, little coins or whatever it is. I want to understand it. So, if y'all got some tips for me for that and understand it, I know how to go count my watch time hours. That's about it. <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. <laughs> Again, I ain't no key delicious nest would be sitting here this long. I wanted to do it, but I didn't know that I would enjoy it as much as I do and would incorporate this in my life as much as I do. Woo, Lord. Uh uh. Don't do that now. Because I would be pissed off. If this take a turn. <laughs> Uh-oh, y'all. And my battery low. So, I guess I'm going to have to cut this show soon. And I'm already at 31 minutes. So, I think y'all get the drift. Uh, we work hard. It ain't just coming up here. Sitting here. Y'all, that's that me. I'm gonna see if y'all can see. Mm. I'm gonna try to turn it. Mm-hmm. Mm mm-hmm. Whew, and y'all know I'm gonna pick that bone up and. <sighs> mm, mm, mm. I don't even want to mess with it. <laughs> Mm. But y'all, we work hard. And when I see people that post every day, my head really goes out to y'all. Especially when you working. I was watching uh, Flavor Eats earlier. I love her. Watching her and Wayne Boogie and Eat With Fran. I believe that's uh, her name. I just started following her, but she's so beautiful. And um, they did a trio taco collab, virtual. But Flavor Eats, 
drives trucks, I think for a beer company or something. But she works full time and has children, has a boyfriend. That's one problem I'll have. I wish I, not problem. <laughs> I'm sorry. Because <laughs> if it's good, it won't be a problem. My last one, my last few been problems. So <laughs> don't mind me. <laughs> But Flavor East, I wish I had somebody run to the store for me. But, you know, but that's something else that you have to cater and be there for your, your spouse or your significant other. People have kids. But she does all of that and cooks her meal for her videos. Then she says she turns around and cooks again for the kids because they're not there when she um, tapes. So she cooks again for them. And she uploads almost every day. I think every day. <clears throat> y'all some beast out here <laughs> but i love it and like wayne was saying when you watch people work so hard at their craft it makes you go even harder you know what i mean you watch people numbers a flavor eats started really after me and she didn't surpass me and that's and that's a blessing you know because she has good content i love her i love watching her watch eat tacos and that sausage rice rice and cucumbers that's how i found her doing the asmr eating that and i fell in love with her channel after that so she deserves to be where she is you know what i mean because she works hard so i appreciate you for motivating us <laughs> to keep going and she just started in june so you know wayne boogie channel is doing good fran is doing good over there so yeah i love it but it is hard work. So if you want to get into this um, YouTube thing, just realize you can't just come up here and sit and put anything out. It got to be some kind of quality to it. I don't have green screens and all that. Will I ever get them? I don't know. I just cook and come sit here, y'all. <laughs> and this is what y'all going to get. But I will continue to try to elevate and bring y'all better things and, you know, update my channel as I go. But yeah, this is me. This is what you get. And it's hard work. So thank you, special um, Simply Food uh, by T.Y. for this challenge. And thank you, Lips, for me coming on your channel and seeing it. And, um, yeah, this is good. This is good. Sh yep. <laughs> We're going to keep it PG, but that's what I wanted to say. But I love y'all. I'm about to get out of here. And uh, I'm stuffed like a fat rat. This was really good. Thank you to my baby for... Um, this i'm gonna say it's a keto lasagna with broccoli instead of noodles and she had chicken in it and she had made her homemade alfredo sauce that's the cheese y'all saw and oh excuse me just bubbly goodness bubbly goodness she get it from my mama <laughs> but i love y'all i'm about to get out of here so i hope y'all enjoy this I, again i'm gonna try to put some clips at the end instead of the beginning because this is a no edit but i will put some at the end just so y'all can see my steak and um because i know a lot of people are redoing theirs and putting it up i don't know if i'm gonna do that y'all i'm I, i'm i i don't know if i'm gonna do all that because <laughs> this is the only thing that y'all was gonna see different was me putting the steak at the beginning in, the, in there somewhere so y'all can see it my intro and my outro that's it <laughs> This is it. <laughs> so I love y'all and uh, keep it key delicious. Make sure y'all like, sh share this thing out. Share me out, y'all. Repost me. Do whatever. Just send that, my link to people. Tell them to watch me so that I, your girl can get these watch time hours and then people can learn and see what I'm over here doing with this keto, okay? So I love y'all. Y'all stay blessed. And until next time, peace. <clears throat> Should I cut it off? <laughs> Or do I let y'all see me get up? Because usually what I do is turn this off. And then I sit here and I watch it back and start to edit it sometime. And this just sit here for a minute. Then I put it up. But I don't know. <laughs> Bye, y'all. <laughs>